cookie tin is well over 50 years old. My grandmother used to make cookies. She'd start making, uh, I think, the day after Halloween. And I think she made every cookbook, every cookie in a Betty Crocker cookbook that she could find. And everybody got a big tin filled with all these cookies. So I feel lucky to have the tin. So these are a complete fail. I have to make them all over again. Um, they're just all crumbly. Look, they just totally, I don't know what I did. I used my, the batter was, the cookie dough was fine. I don't know, it's a mystery. I have this book and if anybody's into historic cooking, this is by Mrs. Glass and this book was published in England in 1747 and then it was brought to the United States. Uh, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington all had copies of this cookbook. So this is, um, it's just a treasure of some of the really early recipes, the words, the wording that they use to describe certain, certain things, to dress fish, preserving, making cakes, pickling, to cure hams and bacon, hashes, gravies. Huh? They have bread pudding, which I kind of wanted to try that. I think it's like you just layer pieces of bread that you've buttered one on top of another. And then I think you use four eggs and milk and supposedly it's supposed to be like a pastry pot. So I thought they might have, what I might do is go through this and see if I can find a recipe. This is gonna be my new tradition every year is to make something new at Christmas every year from this book. So I will keep you posted on this this is my vintage cakes <coughs> and I think I'm going to make a cake um, probably on Wednesday so I will let you know which cake that one looks pretty good <laughs> I'll let you know which cake I choose and I'll take you along for some cake baking but my poor cookies they didn't turn out so good so I have a threading error that I have to correct. Bummer, bummer, bummer. It's right. Where is it? Right there. So I put these two threads in harness one. So that's an easy fix. I want to show you what I've been working on today. This is um, a rag wheel that I found at an antique shop um, several years ago, and I just love it. This is really and truly a traditional wheel of rags that people sewed together and then they would make rugs out of them. You can see right here um, where they've taken, they just sewed the strips together and, um, and it's wound in this beautiful wheel. I just love it. So um, when I usually make my placemats from rag rugs. I usually use a strip that's probably half this width, but I thought, you know, this just, 
just feel so 1930s, 1940s. I thought, I think I'm just gonna leave it just as it is and um, see what the fabric looks like. So I really like it a lot. I wanted to keep it very, um, I don't wanna use the word primitive, but um, just very simplistic. And this is what it looks like so far. I chose this gold, kind of a ruddy gold color for the border. And this will be the hem. It'll get folded up and, and stitched. But then I just really love this. I love it. I love how it's turning out. And my edges look really good so far. So um, I fixed my threading error. It took a lot longer than I thought it would but I got that all fixed and I'm gonna weave this wheel. What I might do is I also have, um, sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> I also have a wheel of this, which I also found at the same antique shop. So I think I might alternate strips of this with this. I think it'll be really pretty.